Hey, it's CT, Carlin Trammell of the Nerd Lunch uh, blog and podcast here. We, did, we uh, recently did an episode of the podcast where we talked about arcade games. And we did a sweet 16 of uh, popular arcade games from over the years, uh, pre-2000 games. And uh, on that episode, it, it came out, it's pretty much known anyway, that I am not much of an arcade guy. I, I did not grow up going to arcades. And, and some of it, I think, was um, we had our own system at home. So we'd play, we'd play games at home. We'd get games at home. So I, I, I never went to them. I remember I had to have been super young. I went to some skating thing. They had the arcade. The older kids were playing these games. And I remember actually a, uh, an older kid playing Miss Pac-Man. And I'm, I'm watching him and he finishes and he tosses me a quarter to let me play next. And I didn't even know what to do. I went back to my parents and I'm like, that guy just gave me a quarter. What happens now? <laughs> like I, and I, I don't think I played the game. We talked about 16 plus different games and I had no commentary to offer. So I was really ill-equipped to talk about them. Uh, fortunately, we have a place here in Tallahassee called Flippin' Great Pinball. They have an arcade section of, the, of this place. We're, we're actually just uh, within walking distance of Cosmic Cat Comics. If you're a longtime Nerd Lunch fan, you may remember Cosmic Cat from the very first episode of Nerd Lunch, the web series. But that aside, Flippin' Great, they heard the podcast and they said, CT, we have some of the games on your Sweet 16. Let's have you come, play some, try them out, and maybe in the future, you can actually know what you're talking about. So here I am, and uh, let's give it a shot. So I'm here with uh, one of the owners of Flippin' Great, Rob McDowell, and uh, this is Flippin' Great Pinball. So talk a little bit about, Rob, what, uh, what's the history of, of this place? Uh, we've been around for about two years now. Uh, prior to that, though, we actually ran a arcade and pinball workshop. Uh, for about six years here in the square. Okay. Here we have uh, around 35 games, uh, pinball and arcade, uh, over 20 pinballs, around 15 to 18 arcades, depending on what fluctuates at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we offer either by hour play or all day play. Okay. So there's no quarters needed. You just come in and uh, we tell you when your timer's up or you spend all day here. <laughs> Fantastic. What, uh, so what's the history of some of these games that you've got? Are they, are they from your collection or? Yeah, they are actually, they're, they're actually either from my or my business partner Adam's collection. Uh, between the two of us, I think we have uh, 90 to 100 games. So uh, we definitely had enough to go ahead and fill space and that's what we did. And now we try to rotate new ones out, um, you know, bring in some of the old ones, try to rotate the selection every, uh, every couple of months. We try to keep a good representation of all eras of pinball. So, uh, like Spanish Eyes here, we'll start with the 60s and 70s games, a lot of electromechanical, and we'll go all the way around to the newer Sterns, like Star Wars, which just came out earlier this year. Uh, and as far as arcades, uh, we're big fans of the vintage arcades, so you'll see a lot of Miss Pack and Donkey Kong and Galaga's. Uh, we're also a fan of the fighting games, so on the, kind of the second phase of arcades when they came about again, Street Fighter 2, and you know, we just got Killer Instinct in here, and we yeah. have uh, we've had Mortal Kombat, and a bunch of the, a lot of beat 'em ups, Konami okay. games, stuff like right. that. You mentioned a few of those arcade games, and I recognize some of those names because just recently on our podcast, uh, we talked about Street Fighter 2 and Galaga, mm -hmm. and some of those names came up. Uh, now you listened to this episode. I did. I found it very interesting, but I, I was I was a little woeful <laughs> of, of how how much the other guys were beating up on you. They, since I guess you really haven't had a lot of arcade experience growing up. Right, right. right. You heard my you heard my Miss Pac Man story and yeah. how sad that was. Yeah. So I don't know what to do with a quarter. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, you took it home. I, mean, I, that's I like, don't. I, I and now now look at me now. I, yeah, so, I turned that quarter into a podcast. So you know <laughs> the, the charitable person inside me or whatever that that is, you know, twinges that nerve and. It's like, man, we got we got to get them up to speed on some arcade stuff. Yeah. So now, now next time we talk about arcade games on the podcast, maybe I'll actually know. Exactly. I can actually say something. Exactly. So I have uh, written out uh, in this uh, maniacal way the the actual <laughs> bracket that we have, and uh, so um, you mentioned Street Fighter Two. Yep. Uh, you have uh, Joust. You said. Yep. Play yeah. Play Choice Ten. You yeah, said. Play Choice Ten. Yep. You have Galaga. Yep. We have the winner. The overall winner, the overall Galaga, winner, yeah. and what am I missing here? Uh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Yep. Donkey Kong. Of course. Your arcade, you have to have a Donkey Kong. What What I'll do is I'll um, I'll start with Play Choice Ten, and I'll go all the way through it in order to okay. Galaga, and we'll see uh, we'll see what I think. And then I guess too, you can finally like give some real opinions on 
of the games that made it through the rankings. That's Galaga right. Galaga really is the best game. I can be like, or I can say maybe it's not. Maybe exactly. I don't agree. Or maybe maybe Play Choice 10 should have gotten farther. I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I will know in a little bit. That's exactly. All right, right. I appreciate it. Awesome. Okay, thanks. We'll start with the Play Choice 10. This is one of the games that Sean Robert brought up on the podcast. It was uh, uh, taken out in the first round of our brackets. It's got 10 different games on it. I think we mentioned Super Mario Brothers uh, and Goonies on the podcast. So I'll play a little bit of Goonies and we'll, to start off with. All right, so this, uh, this guy's jumping around. I can jump with A and I can kick with B. Can he kick something? Oh, that's not good. Oh, he shoots me? Okay, so that, that didn't go well. Is it it's like a maze? Is it, is it a maze? All right, two keys. I don't have very much life left. So close. This is Joust. This is one of Gigi's suggestions. Uh, this is actually the cocktail uh, edition, I guess, is according to um, to Rob. He's saying it's a very special version of Joust. So um, let me let me give it a shot. That was joust. That was that was kind of fun. I think I could if I could practice more and get better at it. Then I can see where that uh, that would have been maybe a pick of mine. Uh, I don't know. Street Fighter Two is one of the ones. It was uh, su suggested I think by Christian. Don't quote me on that. Uh, there's a Street Fighter Turbo Edition, but I'm gonna give it a shot and uh, see what I think of Street Fighter. Now I don't I don't know what player. I'm familiar somewhat with the with the different characters because I've seen a lot of people cosplay as different characters. Actually, I see a ton of people cosplay as Cammy. Player select. So this punches, kicks. That does some sort of other kick. And uh, she just got punched and kicked. And I'm just randomly pressing buttons. And uh, it's not looking good for Cammy here, although DJ's uh, getting pretty pretty hurt too. But I am probably going to lose. Yeah, I, I I just lost. Okay, I'm not I'm not one for Street Fighter. It's not going to work. It's not mine. That's not my game. Playing Donkey Kong now. You got it, 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 you got it. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> now he's got a little halo, he died. All right. So that was Donkey Kong. Okay, well that, that was kind of fun, except I didn't get very far. Let me try, let me try one more time.
Okay, my hit to miss ratio is uh, 44.5. I, I think that might, I think that's better. I don't know. Uh, I played uh, Street Fighter 2, Joust, and Play Choice 10 all went out in our first round. Uh, I wasn't good at Street Fighter 2. I was uh, KO'd pretty quickly. Uh, Joust seemed like it could be fun, um, but uh, I was having a hard time with the controllers. Play Choice 10 obviously has a lot of different options. Uh, I played Goonies. I could have really gotten more into that. Uh, it seemed like a fun little maze. Um, I, I would have played more with that one. Then, uh, then I also played uh, Donkey Kong, which went pretty far into our bracket. Uh, it was one of the final four uh, games, and uh, I could have played Donkey Kong for a while uh, if I could have just gotten the rhythm of how the, the jumping and the buttons work. It seemed like I was hitting the button and the jump wasn't happening when I would expect it to. But I will tell you, uh, Galaga, that was a pretty addicting game. Uh, Galaga, for me, was the best. I, I could go for some more Galaga right now, but I think, I think they're gonna kick me out. So I completely agree with what won overall, at least from my experience, and I appreciate uh, flipping Great uh, Pinball, letting me come on down here and getting a little more arcade experience. Uh, this is CT, and uh, until next time I uh, talk to you, cop lock. Here's the bracket. I played uh, Street Fighter 2, which went out in the first round. I played Joust, which went out in the first round. And I uh, played Choice 10, which went out in the first round. Uh, I wasn't really good at Street Fighter. Stop it. You have been listening to the Nerd Lunch Podcast.